Hmm. Oh, there's the chains. That's what I was wondering about. Can we see those weird things? I think they were tendrils or tentacles or something. I guess, yeah. Would they be tendrils or tentacles? That's the true question that no one fucking cares about, so I'll shut up. Anyway, crushing guillotine axe over here. So yes, because we're in black tendency, pure black, we'll see some new faces. We're also going to see some new faces in general before we get to the pure black ones. So these are the man centipedes. They vibrate furiously when they get hurt, to a point. So once they get down to about a third of their health, they'll detach their tail as if, as if they were they are lizards who have been caught. Uh, those little cute geckos that I love so much. Fucking awesome little guys. Yeah, there's, they're, 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 they're little shitlord versions of them too. Yeah, so those tails have a stinger. People calling them like scorpion tails. Might be more of earwigs, I guess. Don't know what other people call them, but that's uh, that's what we call them here. Earwigs, for some reason. Because Australia, I don't fucking know. I can see it. Yeah, man centipedes, they're fucking weird. So, oh, there you are, buddy. Yeah, that'll actually hurt quite a bit. But I, I'm not in the mood to show it right now. There are some black phantom ones that are meant to be lurking around here, so I'm excited to find out where they be. So this cage here um, is the one we could have taken. This is the one we took from... Is that the one we took from here? No, 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 no. That was in a different area. Yeah. So those will both take us up. Uh, back to that area. Money. Hey buddy, good to see you. Yeah, well fuck you. 33, fuck that. So if anything's gonna kill me, it'll be this guy. But thankfully we can just do this. I got a little cheeky there. I'm getting cheeky now. So the main reason I swapped to the thief armor other than it being lighter is its magic defense is pretty fucking good. It's equal to the leather set in spite of being light. So that's quite handy. Yeah. Um, the magician set is similar, but it's a little bit heavier. I don't think there's anything in particular that's heavy, other than, like, the armor set I'm delaying getting. Because we, we can just grab it later. I think that's it. But still, I wanted to be sure we could carry everything. And not have what happened yesterday. Yeah, so, didn't even need to buy, did we? Yeah, and bad frame rate too. Ah, yes, cuteness. <laughs> I love this little guy. Look at him go. Reminds me of that movie, Sliver. I'm not really creeped out. Ooh. Mm, no, I'll rephrase that. I'm not really disturbed by a lot of horror movies. I've got a pretty good tolerance, I think. Um, but Sliver actually... I, I, upset is the wrong word, but there was something about it when I watched it way back in, like, like what, 2011? I saw it. It was on Channel 10 or something one night. I was chilling, playing some Black Ops, just fucking fighting bots and whatever. Um, that movie's got some creepy shit in it, to say the least. I think it was that one scene right near the start, in the barn. Um, yeah, that triggered something. Mmm. Other than that, there's The Void. I've talked, to, I've talked about that movie before, I'm pretty sure. Um, not really, dude. I kind of had a feeling that'd be the case. Is that a fog wall up there? I think that's a fog wall. That's a fog wall. Fog wall. Yeah. Um, The Void. Good ass movie. Really fucking like that. That little bit, that it, well yeah, a little bit, it's pretty concise. That bit at the ending, legitimately creepy. I don't know why. Oh, there we go, Black Phantom. Now, as to if they can get up here, I have no clue. It appears not. Oh, 
Oh, fuck you, buddy. Uh-huh. You fucking kidding me? Shoot your dumbass tail, then. That does not count as a hitbox, huh? What well, did? He's still alive, so yeah, as you can see, he is detached. Yeah, so that guy did that much. I'm a little terrified of what he'll do, to be completely honest. Well, time to reapply cloak and have a little bit of a, you know, a, a light jog. I was coping, we kind of just like Goomba stomp him on the head, but alas. Yep, so how about you, buddy? 95, huh? 95? Yep. It is weird how the second hit sometimes doesn't appear. Which direction is he coming from? Oh. Oh, amazing. Okay, fuck it. Not really that scary. It was just the, the idea of falling and getting hit by him that kind of concerned me. Yeah, so I should kind of point out, be blatantly obvious, that they are dropping Mercury Stone. Do I understand any significance of it? No, not really. That's pretty cool, I guess. So yeah, just come down here and farm. Oh, you know, dupe like a cheater, but huh, who, who'd fucking do that? <laughs> ah, hmm. Hey, well, I'm using it for weapon variety, alright? I think the only weapon type I haven't really used yet are katanas. Um, haven't really shown off daggers too much either. There might be a decent chance for that. I'm not really a big katana person, to be completely honest. I've made all the weave jokes. But, I'm not a gangster. I like the Black Blade in Dark Souls 1, uh, sorry, Dark Souls 3 quite a bit. Just because it's different to be Uchi. Washing Pole always struck me as a bit try hard though. So no dice, no dice there. Oh, fucking Christ. Yeah, so this swamp is incredibly easy to get lost into, lost in. Similar to another swamp that we briefly showed in part 18. And we'll be showing, well, after this. Because one falls last, damn it. I've also got to do some cleanup where I fight the Black Phantoms. Because, you know, that'll be fun. There's four more to take out. We fought Meralda. There's Skurva, like I mentioned. There's Ridiel. So, I'm thinking. I'll turn it to pure white. Grab the key. No, I'm not grabbing it. It's not fucking worth it. I'll grab the key in pure white. Oh, there you are, buddy. And then I'll turn to pure black, and we'll fight Ridiel, Phantom Ridiel, save real Ridiel, and then from there, get all the goodies. In a room I'd never been to up until, well yeah, a week ago, basically. Yeah, it was a week ago. Listening to Pat and Wooly talk about DMC5 Special Edition. Oh, by the way, contentious, I know, but, um, Bury the Light, pretty good song. Same thing as Subhuman though, and and this is not to, don't conflate this with like, don't get, don't confuse this with like, me hating electronic stuff in metal, but I just wish video game metal could stray away from excessive use of electronic sound effects. Just cause like, I, I've said, I like my Megadeth, I like Metallica, I really like Sabbath and Dio, I just wish video game metal didn't need to have, didn't feel like it needed to have all the pseudo wub wubs in it. Just let it breathe. Just enjoy some good, just some fucking good guitar and good drums, and the bass if you can hear it in the mix. Um, you know, all and justice for all style. So I'm a little interested to see if he'll catch up to us. Probably not. So there's one there, and the other one fell because he's a fucking genius. So that's clever. Yeah, no, very polite. Very good song. I appreciate it. Um, people calling, uh, people were saying it's kind of like Periphery, which, yeah, I can understand. I haven't listened to Periphery much, but I believe that. They're a pretty cool band from what I understand. Probably should give them a listen one day. Alas, now it's not the time. We're in this shithole. Oh, I do remember in um, one of those Yamfa videos, if that's how you pronounce it, I'm saying it dumb on purpose, though. Um, he made a little caption about this shit degrading your armor. 
Not to my knowledge. Let's just have a look. Yeah, no. Clearly not, because we were down there for ages. Unless it only does it to weapons. No, that doesn't seem right. They'd be way lower. So yeah, I um, just wanted to debunk that thing that's ages old. What, was that like a 2018 video he did? The one where you cheese it with running Firestorm, I think. Um, it was either that or it was the original Soul Level 1. Would that be cheating? Because, you know, if you're Soul Level 1-ing, you've got to be honourable. Yeah, hey, uh, hey, Jimmy, how you doing? So y'all might be wondering, why the hell did he put on cloak? Well, I'll tell you. That's why. Let's take some shots before we uh, run up there. Hey, fucker. Oh, wow, we can just sunlock him, eh? Word. Groovy. Okay, that's why, because I was going to run up and backstab him. So how this encounter is meant to work is, the Black Phantom only comes up to about here, right? So this is an incredibly good spot to hide out. Also, those soul arrows will pretty much do 60% to me, I think. Even with my passable magic defense. Actually, it's not that bad. It's pretty alright. But yeah, those guys are particularly fucking strong. So you want to stealth them. And you can imagine, my plus 4 gu guillotine axe would probably do quite a bit, given it's heavy and all that. Crushing confusion. Yeah, so this is where the real fun begins. There's a lizard who is totally bait. Oh, yeah, that's the, uh... That's either corrosive, or that's poison. I don't know, because I've never really got hit with it. Hell, the only time equipment's ever been broken is something you guys saw yesterday. With the, uh, hat. That's the only time I've ever actually had to repair something in this game. Hell, I barely had that happen in Dark Souls 2, in fact. But it only really occurred in, like, um, when I was learning how that corrosive shit worked in uh, Shaded Woods. And that from that point on, I was very careful not to walk through that shit with plus one rings on. Or plus two or plus three. Now, there's some guys here. What we're going to do is we're going to bait the lizard to commit the seppuku. That's not really seppuku. Or suicide. Yep, see you later, shit lord. We will know our success based on, yep, the 15 souls. So, in spite of what you might think, it is incredibly easy to die there. I will demonstrate why, once I clear out these chuckle fucks. Yeah, we're definitely going back for arrows. Not that I really need them for the boss fight. It really sounds like there's a cat hiding out in my wardrobe, and I can't discern as to where. Ah, uh, yeah, it's kind of weird. Chunk of moonlight. Cool. Very cool. Uh, so yeah, apparently the only way to get pure moonstone, um, well, is on the way to the boss. Which isn't cool. So there's some crystal lizards on an awkward staircase of two Black Phantom, um, well, Dalers. Mind players, like the one you saw. There might be a third, I don't know. Uh, that staircase is intentionally long to give, um opportunity for certain mechanics to kick in but there are two lizards yeah pretty sure there's two lizards on the way up and yeah um hope you beat the boss before you exhaust their spawns because i guess farming him the normal way is going to be fucking hard and even if you got lucky and you know managed to kill him oh hey buddy wow fucking hell good hit man Good hit. Ah, nice. Using the geometry as a platform. Nice, nice. Compatriot. Well played, well played. Yeah, um, even then. I'm not fucking getting that. That's a crossbow. We can shove it. It can actually get stuffed if that's a crossbow. Yeah, um, as a consequence, likely you're gonna get fucking murked by some high power soul arrows, if that is the case. Oh, I should mention with this bridge I'm currently standing on. So, in said session, it happened to be on pure black, which I was cool with. I didn't mind. I didn't bother changing it over. 
Um, so I was perfectly fine with that. The one problem was, this little area, um, due to the fact I kept exit, well, I kept dying. And it really fucking frustrating. So yeah, that's a pretty lethal fall. The lizard runs off roughly here, or you can kind of get it around those tentacles sometimes. You're going to die no matter what, from this height. Um, if you run, well, I kept, I actually died to the gargoyles once or twice. So what happened was, I ran onto my, onto the bridge to grab my blood stain, my souls, and the centipedes blocked this, and the gargoyles ganged up here. So, metaphorical yet literal, rock in a hard place. Also, yeah, wanna, wanna notice how I have not died since that fucking fall? Yeah, crazy, crazy, isn't it? Weird. Oh, one more hit. I think you fucking don't. Oh, hope that wasn't a rapier. So in case we never get it, I'll try to farm it up regardless, but um, they dropped the spiral rapier. It's honestly kind of crappy, but it's notable because it's the only frosting sword that has bleed damage. That's pretty cool. But as a consequence, you can't uh, infuse it with sucker stone. So that kind of, well, sucks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, you can't survive that. We're waiting on old Iron King platform. They really are like the ones in the DLC though, aren't they? Le legitimately are. Weird. The lift, I ain't got much else to see. Ah, oh, fine. Which one of us in the lift is Devil? Yeah, that movie I haven't seen. You hear that? That's an arch stone. Also, that's a repeating texture. It's also a gargoyle. I don't want to fucking throw myself off here. What the fuck are you doing? Come back and fight me like a man. Nice. Damn it. Come on. Give me your fucking rapier. Yeah, I was a little worried I was just going to fly off the edge there. Alright, there's at least one or two more of you. Where the fuck you at? Obviously these guys too. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, 293, but how about... 241, and if we do a one-handed R2. Okay, so that's still pretty strong. Anyway, second cutscene. Here we go. Yeah, um, hmm. So, uh, yeah, if you lose your heart and it falls, uh, it'll explode into centipedes. So that's cool. Yep. Okay, um, enough of that. So yeah, that wasn't actually the arch zone noise. The arch zones are there. That was just a sound from the dumb spell they were casting to hold the chain. Yeah, we can't actually get up that one, don't worry. The staircase is totally fucked. So yeah, there's that other tower. Yeah, I guess that was the one. Because that's the main one there. What the fuck? Huh, I feel like someone should notice that. So I'm just going to say it, that's the boss. Should be a bridge there, but it's not rendered on this angle, which is weird. Normally, Fronsoft had have a pretty good attention to detail. Now, what am I saying? After looking at some of the fucking views from Dark Souls 3, maybe not so much. Uh, notably, like, the Undead Settlement, if you're familiar with Dark Souls 3, you'll, you might know what I mean. Um, you might know, you will know where I'm talking about, but you might know, not know the specific spot. 
So, in the Undead Settlement, where you, um, have to contend with Fire Demon. Yeah, we're heading back now. With the Fire Demon with Sigurd. Um, when you climb up into the building, um, immediately after the stairs, if you turn right, you'll look out and see some amazing fucking texture work. Hell, that entire area in the Undead, undead Settlement on the outside is pretty shitty in terms of textures. Some fucking awful shit, but I mean, you know, it's out of bounds. It's got cloud cover, you're not meant to see, but still. But still, that's a little weird in a game like this. But, oh yeah, of course not. But yeah, no, they uh, just didn't make the bridge. On that angle. Oh well. Whatever. Rightio. So given... And this would be weird I would say this, because this is a thing I've not talked about before. Given there are no items on the ground in the indebted. Nexus, I think we might be safe to fight a boss. That's what it's meant to be. But, um, we're just going to run upstairs for one second. Because our friend should be back here. Hmm. Yeah, Mephistopheles hangs out there. Right there, supposedly. Meanwhile... I believe this is where he's meant to be. No, huh. Nasty guy. Uh, fucking be nice. Be nice. Okay, I guess he's still hanging out on the tower. Yeah, that's right. We have to beat a boss before he'll uh, progress his quest. Hmm. Now, yeah, no, Frake's different, I'm pretty sure. Frake will come back no matter what. Uh, this guy in that sick, sick armor. Yeah, um... He's a little stubborn. With triggers. I don't know if he likes Studio Trigger. I'd like to think he does. Most That's people should. They make good shit. Radio. So, boss time. Again, I'm not going to do that. I just like having my arrows for later. Um, nothing else to get rid of. What we will do, however... Is... We're on our way to the boss. There's not a lot to pick up. I'm pretty sure. Wait, we gotta swap it over, sorry. So, I'm gonna swap shields. Now, it doesn't really matter, because they've both got a block of, well... 30. So, yeah, it really doesn't matter that much, does it? Now, it would be lovely to have my better armor on. But, let's check the weight ratio. Yeah, no, we could. But the main thing is, black set... No stamina recovery, um, well, no, no, no punishment at least. We're not getting minus five a second. So yeah, I think it is meant to be 48 a second. So yeah, we're getting full advantages from stamina regen. Now, due to this boss being tough, and arguably the toughest boss in the game, save for one guy, cough, cough, King Alant, You'll notice we got 27 of these. I'm bringing along 8. I'm having full health every time I do this. So for the meantime, I'm going to take a quick break, refill my water, do some stuff, and then we shall be back for the boss fight. And, um, this could be often of cause levels of bad. I'm just going to say it up front. So, thanks for everyone who's stuck around so far. Because it, it might get bad. See you in a bit. And we are back in Latria. So, I had an epiphany of sorts. Um, uh, just before I started recording this again. Yeah, you know, I took that break. Um, stopped recording. Uh... Yeah, I've just done a new sync test, we're good to go. I probably don't need to kill them, but fuck it, I got the arrows for it. So, two things occurred to me. First of all, no point playing Koi because I thought, well, you've seen it. In loading screens, that gentleman we found is named Yurt. So he's the guy everyone was having a chat about. So you might remember, I was saying he's a cool merchant. Way back at the start of the game. I'm pretty sure that was all the way back just after Phalanx. Uh, buddy, you good? So 
what these guys ain't, I guess. Huh. I wonder. Now we help them. Ah, screw you. Well, that was, uh, that was a spectacle. Oh yeah, these guys are here now, by the way. There's a bunch of items we gotta go get before the boss fight. So that's cool. Yeah, um... No need to play coy. Yurt is yurt. The other is, and this is completely random, and I'm only just mentioning it and not going into it in depth. I, for some reason, remembered the ancient TV show named El Nombre. Yeah, I don't know why. If that means anything to you guys, you're cool. Um, otherwise, yeah, no, um, fucking weird. I, I don't know why, I just suddenly remembered El Nombre. It's something that happens every couple of weeks. I don't know why. Cursed, I guess. But anyway, back to epic gameplay. So yeah, these chuckle fucks are back. So that, that's a good way to deal with them, I guess. Block attack, after. And yeah, chop. Whoa, uh, my voice. Uh. Now, question is, can we see anything? Because there's that gargoyle down there, but it's also one of those man centipedes. Like Nanako says, man whore! <laughs> she called you a man whore! Again, uh, just disclaimer, I haven't played a lot of Persona 4, I just know that clip from the anime. <laughs> I don't think that's even in the game, to be fair. I like that clip a lot though, it's pretty funny. Ah, oh, Persona, what an amazing series. <laughs> As a fucking, like, primary school age kid, say that this older lady, um, called your, uh, your cousin a man -hole. Amazing writing. Amazing writing. Uh, yeah. Mmm, anyway. <laughs> now that's over with. Uh, we're heading back down here. There, there will be yeah, a centipede there, and there's one more in the door. I missed. Yeah, this is so. This is exactly why I restocked in arrows. Bingo. Speaking of which, right. Unfortunately, this is not Dark Souls where we can walk and shoot, walk and aim. Aha! What was your plan? I mean, to do that. Come here, so I can hit you with my slow-moving weapon. Come on. Alright. Smart ass, are we? Whoa, holy shit, that actually spooked me a little. It wasn't even like a jump scare, but just, oh, was not anticipating that. Or expecting it. Hey, look! I wonder what it should be. Excuse the chair moving in the background. Yeah, so the heart has collapsed. As we saw in the cutscene. For a second I was worrying it hadn't. Does that mean we couldn't come and get these items? One of which we can't even use because we're a male character. This LP. Yeah, that wasn't incredibly obvious. Just saying. Mm-hmm, there we go. The mask we can't use, the rapier, well we can't use, but at least we can fucking equip it. Ring of Avarice, that might look familiar. Yeah, a bunch of souls, I'm yep, yeah, don't worry, this isn't out of sync. I just was delayed in mentioning the ring for something we picked up. Yeah, so you, you can get a real good look at the meat in there. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, prime. Prime fillet, that is. Prime cut. Mmm. Delicious. Delicious time. You're not very bright, are you? Oh, even cleaner cut there. Yeah, it's uh, not a very good strategy, to be honest. 
Well, it works for lizards because they have the sense to run away. So anyway, the gold mask. A gold mask with inlay. Uh, sorry, with a gold mask inlaid with a delicate design. Even among the masked society that seeks to harness the power of souls, only those of a particularly high rank may wear it. Yes, I can't wear it, so sorry. The Epier or Rapier. I assume it's something like that. I'm being all fancy. A ceremonial rapier with intricate gold designs. It was a weapon favored by those of a masked society. So, what? Masked society who meet in secret to discuss the harnessing of souls. It is imbued with strong magical flame, which is one of the reasons why these vicious people are so feared. So, nine. 1424 and this is the one weapon in the game I'm confident in saying that that has scaling fire damage because everything else is from a dragon weapon or something like the bow yeah and obviously that sentence does not include magic I said weapon and if it didn't well I'm saying it now smart ass so yeah pretty cool if you're a magic build, that's fucking rad. If you're a pseudo... Uh, who am I kidding? If you're a strength build like I am, nah. We're only pseudo in the context of I have, you know, a, you know, a pretty ridiculous amount of intelligence for a strength build. And a bit extra faith. I mean, you probably want 16 anyway for a second chance if you're PvPing. But we're not, we're not about that. Hell, I could use it right now for this boss fight, but that's not fucking happening. So, cloak can be useful for the boss fight to a degree. Um, but it can also cause some problems. I'll talk about that, about that in depth once we're in the boss room. Now, I don't think our dumb gargoyle friends are going to approach us. I think they're quite content to stay. As long as we don't step onto that bridge. So yeah, other than the heart being all down there like you saw. Split open. Yeah. Our progress is no longer impeded. Here it comes again. Straight through the heart. You get it? Because that's a song by, um, by Dio. You know, good song person. Good musician. Huh. Oh yeah, so there is an item there, isn't there? I always forget that. And you can't even go off the staircase, so yeah. Cool, but um, that's all set. I was going to test that out, so... Renowned... So... Of renownedness, I suppose. Alright, now the reason we have Cloak. You'll see, there's a Black Phantom dickhead. Yeah. We can stun lock him again, as we did. But we got to be a little more careful. Because, I don't know where they stop. Okay, let's have a look. Let's watch it. Now, we don't have cloak on... Well, we have cloak, but it's probably going to run out. So, i got to get ready to cast it. We're going to cast it now. Now, we do have the reach. Oh, boy. That, was, that spooked me. We have the regenerating on. And we have... Yeah, well, yeah, we have the fragrant ring on. We have regen ring on. So let's do this. Yo, fuck it. Knock, knock. Open up the door. It's real. The non-stop pop, pop. Stainless steel. Get knocked with the enemy. I chuckle. Like knuckles. At your dismay, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Hip hop. As brutal as, uh, as brutal as Tupac would have done, I guess. What's this? You'll find true love past here. Wow. Hey, it's like that one item in the Brotherhood of Blood. You know, will you meet Titchy Grin? No, you won't enjoy it here. No, not your time. Unless you want to be bathed in blood. 
Yes, absolutely covered in blood. Mm, blood. You know, because they're into blood. I don't know. Brotherhood of Blood um, might sound like they enjoy a substance that you find in the bloodstream, typically denoted with red color that can be owed to blood cells. Yeah, shut up, nerd. One of these days, Old Spice. Can Terry Crews just smash through that wall, please? Man needs a break after Crackdown 3. I, I never played Crackdown, but a couple, a couple of my mates really enjoyed it. So, you know. So this is Man Eaters. Now, you'll notice one thing. I am aiming. And yeah, we're kind of clipping through a wall, so that's cool. It's not really cool, but yeah. So, it is a gargoyle. Um, he's pretty tough. I'm going to demonstrate something that people used to cheese this with. So, we are actually doing damage. Now, the problem with my bow is, eventually, he will be pushed out of range. So, we can no longer do this. So, I've done little bits of chip as a bit of an example. Now, I'm going to go throw myself to the proverbial woods. Wolves. Well, wolf in this case. Right, so I man eater. You'll notice we're on a long, straight corridor. The brazier is up there. He also does a fuck ton of knockback. He's pretty physically tough. There is a snake on his backside. We can chop the snake. Uh, yeah, it's gonna take a few hits. I assume. The snake will bite him and cause him to power up. We're also having problems hitting him. Yeah, so my shield is good, but there's only so much it can do, because it's better to just fucking dodge. You know, in the words of Master Piccolo. Yeah, so... Apparently, the latent magical powers he possesses will dissipate once the snake is taken care of. Or at least the snake won't buff him anymore. We're just going to use this, because it's a lot easier. I think I'm getting kind of lucky with this. Now, you might be thinking... Wow, this isn't that tough. It's one fucking gargoyle on a bridge, and you're actually owning it. Yeah, I am. Thank you for flattering me as such. That's, this isn't the problem with the fight. Give it a moment. Give it a moment. Let's just test some of this. So, yeah. Um, if you're using Cloak, what can happen is the boss can lose you. And he won't come back sometimes. Or at least, not this man-eater. The second man-eater might lose you. So, apparently I've totally fucking ruined the gimmick of the fight. Because I actually killed it too fast. Wait, what? What the fuck? Why did we get the boss killed set? Oh well. Oh. So yeah, walking up here is probably not the best thing to do. So up there, there is the platform with the brazier. What most people will do is use that to separate the man-eaters to split this, you know, split the fight up. Oh, yep. Well, okay, guess I'm doing man-eaters first go. Oh, I fucking jinxed it. Watch, watch, I fucking jinxed it. I mean, I've got all this full moon grass, but don't worry. All it takes is for me to get a little too close to the edge, and I'm fucked. Where is he? They're all over! Yeah, you say that. You scream that, but I don't believe you. Yeah, so if it's not very apparent, this is the inspiration for fights such as the Belfry Gargoyles in Dark Souls 1, and the Belfry Gargoyles in Dark Souls 2. Such classic hits. Now, from some, in one standpoint, I don't mind the gargoyles in two. It's not that bad, sometimes, but yeah, solo that fight can be a fucking nightmare if you do the bell free ASAP, which I never do, because I'm a coward when it comes to PvP, I've mentioned this before. And I am an absolute coward when it comes to PvP, unless I am the invader. Yep, see, there's still potential for me to just fuck this up. Don't worry. Oh, fuck. Good thing I was fast enough to heal. Yeah, so, um, hmm. 
I'm impressed I managed to kill that first man-eater so quickly. Now it's just playing it lame. So I'm impressed he's doing damage through my shield with purely physical attacks. That's what I'm really impressed by. Oh yeah, here we go. That, that could have been the bad one. We're gonna heal up again. Because I need to get rid of this fucking grass. Hey, fuck boy. Get down here. Come on. Do a, do a projectile. Yeah, so the snake gets rid of the self bar, but it won't stop him from spamming magic. Yeah, that's not that's good. Fair enough, I'm just kind of spamming arrows. I can at least. The fuck you at? Okay, he's probably going to go for a charge, so I've got to be careful. Yeah, so if you're a little too close to the edge and you go for a roll, yeah, you can fucking fly off. Right, um... Hmm. I don't want to jinx it, but I think I've got this. I mean, even if I die here, that's on me. I should win this. I fucking killed the first gargoyle before he even got to shot properly. Wow. Impressed with myself. Alright, few more swings. Time to get greedy. Time to get greedy and die. Oh my god. I might actually do it. I might actually fucking kill myself. Evidently not. Alright, man, need it. Alright, how do we end this? How do we end this, chat? How do we end this? What do you reckon? Bow? Um, or he could do that. Yeah, Ring of Everest didn't count. Oh yeah, there's an item there. I've always meant to test that out. I'm pretty sure they can hit you during the fight there. So it's not really worth the risk. Yeah. We'll grab that in a second. Now, because I can reset tendency, it won't matter if I fall. But boy, was I pissed off when I fucked up. And as consequence, I couldn't, uh, couldn't get the keys. Now, we got to be careful, because we could potentially be invaded right there. Which is fucking irritating, as you can imagine, getting invaded on a staircase to a boss. Yeah, so like the other other levels, um, bar one four, not much of a level, um, you know, to the boss. There's the staircase, as I mentioned, and that's really it. Is it actually? Because if so, that's fucking rad. I've got to try that out one day. I've got to try that out. 